Hi, this is Scott in No Room for Projects. And yesterday my wife called and said when she was checking the oil that the dipstick broke off. The bad problem is down here, you can see that, the, uh, there's no room to get in to uh, get some pliers and pull that out. There you can see that the, the dipstick is broken off way down in. And so I've got this piece, and that just fit right down in there. And when she tried to pull it out, it just snapped right off. And so I'm going to try to repair that. Not repair it, replace it. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a new dipstick. You're going to need some kind of a drill with an eighth of an inch bit. You're going to need a drywall screw like that and you're going to need a uh, Phillips head screwdriver and I brought a uh, a bulb syringe so that I can blow it out get down in there blow it out after I've um, put the drill down in there to screw it out so I'm going to try to locate that right dead center Oops, and I just pushed it all the way down. Well, that's not good. So I'm going to try to... Pushed it right down. Let's see if we can get all the dust and stuff out. That's working good. But I didn't go down enough to get the screw in. Looks like I went down, let's see if you can see this, went in maybe half an inch. Let's see if I can go in a little bit farther. There's some metal. Okay, it's a little farther. There we go. You can see it's about uh, a little over half an inch. So I'm going to get the bulb syringe and blow it out again. Blow all that little dust and junk out. It actually works really well. You don't want anything down in the oil. Yeah, I can't tell if it's got a good good hole in there or not. Looks like it's too big of a hole. But we'll try it. So I'm going to put it in here and just do it with a hand screw. I've got a Okay, it feels like it's in there pretty good. Okay, one more thing. Okay. One other tool that I got is some side cutters, some sometimes called dikes. And with the coarse thread, let me see if I can get that in focus. With the coarse thread, it'll actually work. If I can get my hand around here right. I can get in those threads and just kind of force it up gently. And I'll leverage it up. That's not working from that side. Let's see if we can just gently move this up. It's not wanting to come. 
There we go. It's squeaking and squawking, but it's coming. Now if we can just get it to break loose, we might be there. It is coming. I just want to pull up. Okay, it's coming. Okay, now I just gotta try to pull that thing up. That's not one to come. And success. It came out, and you can see I actually drove that in at an angle, and the hole was a little bigger because I was drilling at an angle, but it pulled it out. It was kind of stuck, so I'll just pull that thing out, put it aside. And I'll get this new one. So here's the new one. And I'm just going to put it down in there. And one other thing that might help is um, I've seen some people put grease, just a thin layer of grease or lubrication right there so it will it won't get stuck and it'll go down easy. Snaps down in, pulls right out. Perfect. A few minutes and you've got it working again and you'll have to go to the dealer. Um, hope that helps. If you like this, share it and uh, subscribe and comment down below and we'll talk to you later.